Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Block On. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the ultrasound guided posterior quadratus lumborum block, which is also known as QL2, based on the hook sign. Patient is placed in lateral position with the side to be blocked turned upwards, like the way I have demonstrated in previous two QL videos. The performer stands behind or in front of the patient. The transducer is placed in the transverse orientation over the abdominal flank at mid or posterior axillary line, immediately cranial to the iliac crest, and the needle is inserted in plane from posterior to anterior or from anterior to posterior direction or out of plane technique. A low frequency curvilinear transducer is usually used to perform this block. Alternatively, the linear transducer can be used in lean and thin patients or in case of pediatric patients. 80 to 150 millimeter of 22 gauge short bevel ecogenic nerve block needle is used. Alternatively, quinky spinal needle can be used. Lower concentration of local anesthetic like 0.125% bupivacaine or levobupivacaine or 0.1 to 0.2% ropivacaine is used for this block. I personally use 0.3 to 0.4 ml per kg per side. That is roughly around 20 to 25 mils of local anesthetic with 4 to 8 milligram of dexamethasone as an adjuvant. The scanning starts from the anterior abdominal wall, just like we did in transmuscular quadratus lumborum block. Gradually slide the transducer posteriorly and cranially until the three layers of the abdominal muscles are identified. The external oblique muscle is then followed posterolaterally until its posterior border is visualized, which forms hook sign. The internal oblique muscle below it forms a roof over the quadratus lumborum muscle. The transducer is slightly tilted here caudally to identify a bright hyperechoic line that corresponds with the middle layer of thoracolumbar fascia. The local anesthetic is deposited between the QL and the erector spiny muscles, more specifically between the middle layer of thoracolumbar fascia and the epimysium of QL muscle. Here, the needle was inserted from posteromedial to anterolateral direction. You can also insert the needle from anterolateral to posteromedial direction. The optimal point of injection was determined by hydrodissection with 5 cc of 0.9% saline to produce a hypoechoic or anechoic image. After confirmation of the needle tip position, the local anesthetic was injected in 3 to 5 ml aliquots following negative aspiration for blood. As you can see here, post block scanning reveals a nice layer of local anesthetic between the thoracolumbar fascia and the epimysium of the QL muscle. In the subcostal view or the oblique sagittal view, craniocaudal spread was observed both anterior and posterior to the QL muscle, which again confirm the correct deposition of the local anesthetic. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.